Disney attractions that I've never done before, Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's. to check the wait time. We thought from a distance it either looked like it said 65 or 45, which that would be absolutely incredible for this one. 65. 65? That's really good for this one that just opened. It could be less, yeah. Or we could always come back if we wanted to do other things first. All right, so we're heading in here. This is the end of the line. Let's do it. Okay, that line is 2.06. 2.06 is when we're getting in line. Okay, so we will see if it's actually accurate that it's 65 minutes or if it's a little bit less. Look at this. So this is making me very nostalgic, just walking under those archways right now. I can remember, you know, when Great Movie Ride used to be a thing, I had a love, love for Great Movie Ride. That was like my dream job. I actually, I wanted to be like one of the, the speakers like for Great Movie Ride. I love that attraction so much. So it was hard when it left for me you know it was very 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 hard for me to see it go but with all that being said i am like super excited for mickey minnie's runaway railway i've heard you know a lot of people are kind of you know comparing the two and they're both so different i think that's what it comes down to because i kind of was doing that at first too where i was like oh i'm gonna miss great movie ride but you know we have to look at it as like this is a different thing it's completely different theming it's a mickey and minnie ride so trying not to like put it in the bubble of like comparing it to great movie ride so this will be fun and my mom and dad I, you just said that you can remember because you came here to disney on your honeymoon 35 yep. 1989 it was 1989 and you waited how long for great movie ride? great movie went over three hours <laughs> over three hours for great movie ride so not too bad that we only now have to wait 65 minutes for to experience this one for the first time all right so they kind of have a snaking through here in this makeshift queue for social distancing and we are moving like we have pretty much been continually walking since the time we got in line so that's good just taking like little pauses here and there but it really is they're getting us through here pretty quick okay so we are looping on through here we just reached the shady part right now underneath these trees stopped and looked at this archway right here look that has the Carthay Circle Theater We've got like some actors on a set look at this the writers animators really look at that yeah I've never like stopped usually we're just walking on through I've never like been stopped to like take the time to look at this stuff that's been something interesting is that we've been able to during this time really you know they don't have as many people crammed in places so a lot of times in the queues and stuff we can see you know more um, of the details of everything this is so cool we hadn't seen a cavalcade yet here I hear the music coming so so I think that's the Pixar one. Oh yeah there go the Incredibles there's Edna Mode in her car Okay, so it's been not quite 25 minutes and we've already snaked through all of that over there, all the up and backs. We are pretty consistently moving here. This lantern right here almost looks like Hidden Mickey's like on a side angle. My mom has a for me, she thinks I'm pushing it for that. That's like when I was a little kid and being here at Disney, I can remember so many times like I was obsessed with finding Hidden Mickey's and like I would like just reach for it. It would be like just slabs of concrete on the ground and if there was three of them, I would just be like, Hidden Mickey, it works. I guess in a child's mind, you know, it's just imagination. Okay, we are already into like the actual roped part here. Okay, so we've made it up here. Like we're about to enter the Chinese theater and it has been exactly 32 minutes. It's 2.38 right now. No, it, it's slightly spitting out here. So we've made it undercover just in time. 
so we don't have to wait out in the rain. This is how quickly the Florida weather can change. It's now pouring out of nowhere. And you can see right over there, it's like blue skies. Like this is just gonna pass over us. Let me tell you, we got under this covered part like just in time. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been in here and this is bringing back such nostalgic memories of the great movie ride. So rain and we got stuck like right there as they were roping us into the door and they had like cut off and we're starting to take people in now through this side entrance. And so we made it in like just in time. So yeah, they're kind of redirecting as much as the queue as they can under the covering, but still out there, there's a lot. I wonder if the wait time will go down now because a lot of the queue is out in the open. Yes, that's all we just entered here. The wait time had gone up to 80 minutes, but I don't know, like we're already inside. And like I said, it's only been like about 35 minutes now maybe. So it's moving fast. They have all these movie posters for the different adventures that Mickey and Minnie, like the Mickey and Minnie shorts. It's cute. And they'll periodically change too. You can see right here, this marquee for a perfect picnic. This is the backstory of the short that we are about to go inside of. Here we go. And be worn at all times while in line and on the attraction. Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Please keep your party together. So it's currently 2.48 right now, yes. So and we're getting ready to turn right here. So yeah, how long about like... About 40 minutes, yeah. All right. And this is where they typically would do like the pre, like pre-movie, but we get to go just straight into the attraction so that we keep on moving. Here we go! Oh my goodness! Please keep your hands, arms, feet. I'm excited. I always love whenever I get to do something that's a new experience for me. And I know that you do two new experiences today, right? Those are this, and now this one. So it's a good Disney day. There goes the train! Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so we are row number seven. This is so exciting. <laughs> Here we go.
things. Take your small children by the hand and watch your step as you exit. So look at this, they have the end screen. Like we're now stepping out of the movie again. That was awesome. We're back outside and just like that, it stopped raining. So that was like perfect timing. We beat the, we were inside like during the rainstorm. Well, that doesn't say we're not going to So that ride, okay, let's talk about him. I loved it. It's super, super fun. You know, it's completely different than the great movie ride. So it's not fair to compare yeah, the two because you know, I love my great movie ride. Apples apples. They're not they're apples to apples. apples completely different. Exactly. They like completely just like gutted this ride in here. The trackless ride system just like Rise of the Resistance is really cool. I, like I love that. Frozen. You like it better than Frozen? Yeah, yeah I can see that. It's definitely, there's more stuff to it. My like only critique, and I kind of have the only critique for um, Rise of the Resistance earlier too, is I just want it to be longer. I just want it to like kind of yeah. go slower so that I can like look at all the things and everything. They say this one is definitely a multiple of time. You Experience. have to ride it to catch all the little things. There's so many hidden yeah. Mickeys. Yeah, I like, heard that. Like seeing things and yeah, it was, a, I wanted to be a little longer. <laughs> I know and I actually, I'm happy that we were kind of, because you always think like with rides like, oh, I want to be row one. Like row one's usually the best view and everything. But we were like, I think we were the very last car and it actually worked out better because I think there was like we went maybe a little bit slower through some of the rooms. Right. Like we kind of had more time. Like especially in the beginning there when we were taking off with Mickey and Minnie right there, everyone else had already left and we kind of still were in that room and heard like the rest of what they were saying and everything. So that's what I've heard too is like that you can see different like side subplots based on which car, like which vehicle you're in. It can be like a completely different story for you. So it has a lot of rewrite abil ability over here. So. I love that. That was really, that was exciting. I got to do two new Disney attractions today. I'm a happy camper. That was great. All right, it's now time for a very fun time of day. It's shopping time. We're gonna look in some, some of these stores here on Hollywood. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go inside the Star Wars store. I also have some of the Avengers merch in here, so this is all like Star Wars up in this end. And then some Marvel things down that way. Oh, I've never seen this before. They have a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Spirit Jersey. It says Black Spire Outpost. Let's see, look at the back. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. That's cool, I haven't seen that yet. Very nice. They have these guys from this is, you can find these back in the one like toy shop in the marketplace. They now have them over here. Just outside of the Keystone Clothers, down this way, they have, look at these window displays. I've never seen these before. It's the Skyliner, oh my gosh. And they're like actually like videos in the background. So it looks like they're moving. That's incredible. Look at this. It looks like a gondola. They have a couple of them, look. Oh my goodness, whoever came up with this idea, this is precious. I like the one with Donald and Daisy. So now we're looking in the next store. Oh, they have the whole Christmas section. Oh my goodness, that's a porg dressed up for Christmas. Look at all the t-shirts that they have. There's some really cute ones. I like that one of Minnie lining up the shot. That's cute. This is nice right here. I love the yellow color. Oh, that's good. I've never seen that before. It's like a Pocahontas spear jersey. Oh, wait. It's just like all the woodland animals. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? That is super cute. Oh, I also like this color. Spear jersey. Oh, they brought back this lavender color. I always wanted to get this color. It's cute. It's a Christmas porg. <laughs> Isn't that cute? 
My dad just bought it a spirit jersey mask. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is for this wishes come true collection. That is cool. That's different from the other Disney masks. That is very cool. All right, we are heading out of the park. Okay, talk about an absolutely amazing day. I got to do two new Disney attractions that I've never done before, Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's. That was like, you know, the goal for this day here at Hollywood Studios. We were like, we gotta do the new things that we haven't done before, and we accomplished it. We came, we saw, we conquered. It was a good day. We rode Toy Story Mania twice. We just, we got to do a lot today and during the time that we were here. So, very exciting day. Now we are heading out and we were talking about some different ideas of things we might do tonight. I think we want to go to Celebration Florida and check that out. And also right now I think we might ride the Skyliner so that we can show Mom the full loop and we always love just doing the resort hopping around that way. So that's the game plan right now. We want to show mom the full loop of the Skyliner here. I'm always big on resort hopping. I, all of us are. We love like that relaxing side of Disney, going around, looking at the shops, looking at all the sights and everything. I didn't do the whole yeah, the whole experience. You haven't been on this Hollywood line here. This drink right here, I'm telling you, is so good. 